This is a USB solar panel charger project. And what I did was I I bought this solar panel right here. Just bought the base solar panel which um is a 10 watt solar panel. And I also bought a uh so we can flip it over here so you can see it right there. I also bought the so the solar panel actually was a 12 volt output 12 volt plus output so I bought a um, 12 volt to 5 volt converter that uh, you know it has the two lines that go to the solar cell and then it also has a USB cable that goes to a USB type A plug end and I built, I made this frame, you know, this is a walnut frame, and I, I think it looks really nice. I don't know if it's coming across really very well, but uh, it turned out real nice. This wood was, uh, came from rough cut lumber that I milled down into the, the strips that it took to make this up and uh, let's see what else yeah so yeah with 10 watts you know that uh, the 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 theory is at least that you should be able to get two two amps of five volt which should be enough to charge just about any USB device, but uh, and I've I've tested this out. It does uh, it does require sunlight. You know, uh, it's not like you can just put this underneath uh, lights inside the house. You know, and and expect it to charge. You know, something. The the voltage regulator itself has uh, a minimum current. That it will require it uh, before it it essentially turns on. So you need to have a fairly bright light. Like if you had a halogen light inside the house, it would it would work. I have done that with it uh, just to test it out. And then of course you know if you have sunlight, um, it works fine. Uh, when you start to get overcast, it uh, will have a problem. So it does does require direct sunlight, but the thought with it was, um, you know, you can just buy solar solar panels. But I, I wanted to do something a little different. Firstly, I wanted something that um, was solid, you know, and some of that stuff that I've seen is uh, they call it semi flexible, you know, which just doesn't seem seem very sturdy. You know, when you're talking about solar cells, uh, to have something that's flexible, a lot of those come with these uh, cloth pouches. You know, um, this isn't really intended to be very portable, though. I think the idea with this one, I think, is, um, you know, like you could have it in your car or, like, if you go camping, you know, bring it along with when you go camping and or if you're on a boat. You can um, always have, if there's sun out at least, you can always have the ability to charge like smart devices and stuff like that. And, you know, I I, I wanted to try this out, you know, try to build a, a, a solar cell as well. You know, so I thought I'd just kind of give it a... Uh, a, a woodworking, woodworking touch to it. And I'll flip it over again so you can see the back side of it. I think one of the things I uh, with this also is I think you could um, hang it up in the window. And, you know, so if you wanted to... I mean, although I think they're, you know, you could always just plug something into a wall outlet, you know, and you don't really need to, 
really use this when you're in the house, although it, it might be kind of fun to try, experiment with, to, to use it. But I think the idea is more of that it's um, more kind of a portable power source that you could bring anywhere. Now, I didn't, I didn't make this waterproof, I will say that, but I think that you could make this waterproof fairly easily uh, with some extra, extra work, you know, uh, sealing off uh, the, the solar cell better. And I think this, this chart, this VR uh, voltage regulator is supposed to be self-contained and waterproof although I really just don't know I think you could you could make it that way by adding maybe adding some more s silicone sealer around this air open area and then here I think for this guy you'd have to have a cap that goes over the top of it that would be waterproof as well and then seal this area right here and then probably I would use a different finish on this as well that's more of an ex exterior type finish 